everybody out there in YouTube land. So dad came home a few days ago. We were able to get everything put away, cleaned up, and ready for me to go. I'm going to be going for a long weekend, Coco and I, up into the White Mountains. Because I'm going to go try and find some dispersed camping spots. So it's Wednesday. The, uh, the trip is tomorrow. I did... Uh, did talk a guy into coming in for me so I can leave in the morning, which is pretty cool. Uh, getting everything staged for Morty. That's what all this is back here. Awesome. Can't wait. I'm so excited. I, I just can't wait to get out in the woods. Get bored. <laughs> Have nothing to wake up for in the morning. Just for a couple days. It's going to be nice. All right. So I've got just about everything ready. I still have to get most of the electronics packed away. Need to get my, my toothbrush, you know, that type of stuff that I'm gonna need tomorrow morning um, packed away. But then we're pretty much ready to go. I got... Up food bin and all the kitchen gear in this drawer I have the truck tent I'm taking that I'm gonna try and figure some stuff out maybe some different settings and ways to set up with it just dog leash saw lantern I'm I'm not taking much I'm only going for a couple of days here on the side got the buddy heater uh, they're supposed to get down to the low-ish 40s, so I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Uh, fishing gear, the table, got a hammock in there, the shovel, and that's, that's about it as far as gear. Going pretty light. Um, I'm only going for three nights, so I shouldn't need a whole lot, but I'm really excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. I haven't, uh, I haven't been camping in a long time, and I've been doing a lot of work in here recently with Pops gone. All right, I'll uh, probably pick up when we're in the truck on the way. All right, we're all packed up, ready to go. Uh, Thursday morning, we're heading out. Coco and I are just got the trailer hitched up, and... Uh, we're going to be heading out. We're just now pulling out. Well, Derek's heading out on his maiden voyage in Ranger Rick and Morty the Teardrop Trailer. Busy on Shaker Road at 7 o'clock in the morning. And off he goes. That was one of my worries there, was pulling out on the road. We have a few large um, granite stones on the corner of our driveway. It made it a little tight, but it wasn't that bad. Got through it pretty easy. It's not my first time pulling a trailer, um, but it's definitely been a while. Okay, I'll get you some wind action. Get you wind action. There you go. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. I am very excited. This is. It's been a long couple months. Dad's a little short, so these mirrors are off. That's us uh, heading out on Thursday. So the plan is to 
I've got a couple of sites that are free dispersed camping in national forest. Those are gonna be my, my first choices there. Um, it's one of the reasons I wanted to get out on Thursday was so uh, hopefully there's nobody there. Sprinkling a little bit, be all right. It's supposed to be nice this weekend. At least that's what the weather said yesterday that can always change. Oh, wow, I forgot this thing has automatic windshield wipers. <laughs> My good dog. Three north. And it's about 55 miles or so. I don't know what's going on with this guy in front of me. I don't know if he's sleeping, drunk. It's 9 a.m. It's a little early to be drunk. No judgment. I need a ladder and he's old, but he's driving by braille. He's doing the speed limit, so I can't really get around him. I mean, I could, but I don't want to put the trailer on the back. I don't really feel like pushing it any. Now he's slowing down a little. Right. Well, now this guy, speed up, slow down, is killing me. All right, now it's time to get around this fucker. Let's see, survey says. Ah, that's the problem. Texting, texting. This is why she's all over the fucking road. Not drunk, not tired, texting. We need to get some of those signs like in New Zealand. They had the best signs ever. One of the ones that stick out to me the most was a person laying on a gurney with a toe tag and the sign read, speeding ticket. Pay attention. It does seem like there's quite a bit of stuff here. I think I'm gonna stop and get gas. Just past the sign that said, welcome to the White Mountain area. So we're in the White Mountains now. Kankamunga Highway, gateway to the White Mountains. No, no, son, you did not just say the Kankamunga Highway? Are you kidding me? All right, every 603 troll out there, go ahead, dump on him. Lincoln, New Hampshire. Pulled into a little town here to try and find some petrol. Oh, here we go. We'll go to the Kankamunga country store, maybe. If I can squeeze in there. Okay. So I'm doing some editing here on this video of Derek's. And he drops the Kanka Kukamunga Highway. It just makes people in New Hampshire cringe, but he explains it. He's a Florida man. Yes. So that's why he has some trouble with, you know, a few simple pronunciations. You know, he's used to warm beer and, uh, I don't know, alligators. Uh, what's the haircut with the, you know... The haircut that's short, you know, Theo Von haircut. What do you call that? The thing, that's what he's used to. Kanka Magus, Kanka Magus, Kanka Magus, Kanka Magus, something like that. No, it's a 35 or so mile highway through the White Mountains. It's gorgeous, but it's not the Kanka Kukamunga. Frickin' highway. Call it the kank. Most people call it the kank. Roll down the kank. Roll down the kank. Kanka. Kanka kuka. Kanka munga munga? Kanka kunka? Kuka kanga munga? All right. 
So that's what that's all about. All right, then. All right, gonna stop and get some gas, maybe some gas station grub. Uh, we'll see. A few moments later. All right, gassed up, got full tank, got GPS back running. I can get rid of the coffee cup because she is done. I really want to get to this first campsite and make sure we check it out. When I went to go get gas, Coco found out she can jump through the back. So now she's whining and crying and loving it back there. So she might be back there now and not up here, but she has the option. Let's get this pony show rolling. It's a tight little gas station here. All right, and off we go. Back to 93 North. No idea if we're gonna have any cell service. I know we don't have intranet because we had to send the Starlink back to the Star Mount guys. The router it was an issue with the router. It's so beautiful up here. I know I've said that about a million times. When you when you've been in South Florida for as long as I have, any little piece of beauty is freaking remarkable. God, that's awesome. God, I can't wait to go out west. You know, the it's beautiful here, but it's night and day difference between the stuff that Pops. I, I, I'm watching Pops do his videos. And of course, I've, I've lived out there in some of those areas and driven through some of those areas. This is our exit. Not really directions, per se, to this spot. It's not an address to this spot. There's a road. Anything I could find was GPS coordinates. <laughs> Looking for Gale River Loop Road. And I've got zero idea what I'm looking for. I do believe it is a gravel road from what I've heard. But we will see. And this is the first spot that I want to go check out. If we don't find a spot here, I got another one. If we don't find a spot there, I got another one. If we don't find a spot there, then we're going to have to get on the phone, try and find something. Have to probably go pay for a spot, which is not really the best thing. Coco doesn't do great with other people. Mount Cleveland, scenic area quarter mile There's not really a lot of roads coming off of this so that's gonna be helpful all right I believe we're at our turn somewhere here made the turn off okay we got the Restricted camping, numbered sites only, site limits, 14 nights, 15 people, three vehicles. If I can find a spot, I'll, uh, so now that we're here, if I do find a spot, I'll get out and we'll see how, well, it is a dirt road. I haven't seen any sites yet. Be bear aware. Okay, that's, that's a thing. No overnight camping. I haven't seen any people yet. That's a good sign. Oh, I haven't seen any numbered sites yet. I do see the Gale River here. It'd be really nice if we could find one 
we might do a whole loop through, see if we can find one close to the river. That would be the coolest. Might just find us a new spot, you know? Although if it's by the river, I'm sure people, people will find it. <laughs> That's cool. Bird of prey that just took off in front of us. All right, what do we got here? All right, I'm gonna go out and check. It looks like there's something here that goes off down to the right, and it looks like it actually goes down to the river. So I'm gonna go down there and check, see what's going on. I'll be right back. One eternity later. All right, so that was the sign that said no camp. All right, All right here's campsite one. Occupied. All right. Campsite two. I can't really tell. Let's keep trucking here. Campsite 2 looks open, so that's promising, but I can't really tell because it does have a path that goes back quite a ways. I don't know. Backing up might be a little bit of a thing there. But at least we found the campsites. We're on, we're on track. I believe there's 11 sites on this trail. All right, site three has people. So far, site two, it looked open, but it had a, it was back in the woods. It had a path. Oh, site four has a car. Site five, it's fully loaded. They got six tents back there. Holy shit. There's some camping going on. Oh, there's a single track bridge. That's cool. Must be the Gale River. Not not much of a river. Look more like a creek. We got air. Yeah. There's site six. There's people on it. Trailhead there. Quite a few people on it. I'm glad I brought the table because at least at these sites. Yeah, they got stones there though, unfortunately. They got some of these places are like tent only. They don't want the cars on the... Like I was saying, I'm glad I brought the table because these sites don't have picnic benches having to stand and eat a steak. Oh, all these places seem occupied at the moment. Even that last one, although it, that last one, it looked like they were getting ready to head out. I mean, I could make it work. Uh, I would just rather be able to have the trailer more up by the site. 
I mean, it wasn't that far off from the fire ring and stuff, but and site two might be open because it did look like there was a little mud down there. It might be open because a lot of these people that I'm seeing coming in are in little Subaru Outbacks and little cars. So it might require a little bit of this site. Yeah, but it's a park by the road and walk in site. So that ain't gonna work. That was site eight. So we only got a few more sites left. Site nine. Stop here for a second. Take a look. Let me take a look at this side. Bye. Two thousand years later. Yeah. All right, site nine looks doable. We're going to put that in the maybe. We're gonna do a quick survey here see if there's any other sites and if not nine it is number nine 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 that's what sitting there. My, my butt's getting warm. What the heck's going on? Turn my flashlight on. <laughs> Here's 10. 10 has somebody. It's like 9 Number might be nine. The, the, the ticket. Nine. Wasn't a big site. I would kind of like it to be off the road a little more, but it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of people out here. They did have a little trailhead poking off of it, which would be kind of cool. But we don't want to settle just yet because you never know, right? The next best site might just be right up here. So it doesn't, you know, there's not a lot of traffic back here, although it would suck if somebody jumped in that spot right as we were looking. Nope, 11 is a hike-in spot. So let's see, maybe they've added new spots. If not, we'll find a place to turn around. Back there to number nine. 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 We're gonna turn around. And we're gonna go grab nine. We gotta go, we gotta go get some firewood. There's all kinds of stuff we gotta do today. So, might as well just go ahead and settle down, right? Let's just get to a spot. So we're at spot nine. <sighs> Gonna try and back this monster in. Don't laugh, because this is probably gonna take me a few tries here.
and we're home. And I'll take you on a, a tour here in a few. All right, so we made it. Let me show you what we got. All right, so we do have a little trailhead here. Skeeters are rough. I'm gonna have to juice up here really quick. We got a little fire ring. It's a nice little spot. Skeeters and backfires are out in full force, which I could only assume being next to the Gale River, it was gonna be a thing. And we're out in the mountains here. So uh, yeah, I got a man. I'm sure the camera's not picking it up, but they are swarming around me. Oh, actually I do see a few on the camera. There are skeeters around me like you wouldn't believe. But uh, all right, I'm gonna get this camp set up and I'll pick you up then. Not really much set up. Um, but I got their chair, got their table. Let me see if I can spin this around and I can show you here. There's, there's the fire ring, the table, the chair, so I can sit down and eat. Rick and Marty are right there. It's a nice little spot. Not gonna really be able to do any. We are completely under a canopy here, which is kind of cool but you know, pretty much puts out drones. Um, already gathered some sticks here um, for kindling off the ground is what was here at the site. Um, so I'm going to put my gloves on. I got my, got my saw and Coco and I are gonna go out and gather firewood for tonight. I'll probably only do it once a day, kind of give me something to do, you know, try and gather just enough for the night. I mean, it's still pretty early. I'm not gonna be starting fire for quite a while. Although I might just get rid of these freaking Skeeters. I can't believe, I mean swarms. I don't know, let's see if, I did just spray. So they're probably not around me too much, but whoa, you talk about Skeeters. This is like the Everglades out here. I can look out and it's just like, they're swarming right at about the sense we're off. <laughs> where they can't smell off anymore. I'm probably gonna need to go uh, something. I'm probably gonna take a couple years off my life with the amount of deep that I'm gonna put into my, my bloodstream this trip. Coco's already heading off on the trail. She's, so we're gonna, we're gonna go hiking down this trail a little bit. Um, probably not gonna record it this time. I wanna pay attention to where I am. Uh, the next time or two. I will. All right, so we gathered some firewood. Uh, didn't get a lot, unfortunately, my knucklehead butt. Uh, the, I forgot the chainsaw. So I'm pretty much limited. Pretty much limited here to, you know, large sticks, we'll call it. Um, you know, things that I can break and cut with my hand saw. Um, there, there were some larger pieces back there. Maybe I might grab and bring up, but I'm not really doing it for heat. So I don't, it doesn't really need to rage. I just need it to oh, roast a couple marshmallows. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Maybe, maybe so I can get a picture of my dog and I sitting by a fire, but that's, that's about the extent of the fire. Um, just to do it, you know, I'm out in the woods. I feel I should have a fire. <laughs> All right. I uh, think I'm going to call it there. I'm going to go make myself some lunch, have a sandwich, maybe some soup. Coco's uh, doing her part, helping break down some sticks. She's so crazy. She just breaks them. 
She breaks them and spits them out. Breaks it and spits it out. She doesn't chew it. She just wants it broken and on the floor. <laughs> I love that elf. But all right, till uh, till we meet again. So I did get the hammock strung up, which is kind of cool. Um, there's one little thing here. Yeah, I wish I would have brought the chainsaw, but you can still use it. You just gotta just want to park your butt like over here a little more so that way if something does happen you don't uh get a little surprised all right just got up from a well-needed nap <clears throat> figure coco and i'll go on a quick little walk here get a survey of the land See what's going on. I haven't seen too many people. Actually, I haven't seen any people at all. I've seen a few cars. Like that could be a trail. They're right across the way there. Oh, you know what? I have on X. I'll look at on X in a little bit. Had to get Coco on a leash. I'm not. I don't think she has to be here, but I don't know. I would kind of prefer her to be. Just until I know the area a little better. The story might be changed in a day or two. She's definitely not used to it now. She wants to be off doing what she wants to do. But she remembers it. <laughs> Most of her life, she was ahead on the leader, so. I do have a 30 foot lead. I could have brought out with it. I didn't even think about it. I just grabbed this one out of the truck. I'm following this road here. I can't but I might check that out. Here comes the car. Coco, sit. 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 Just came out here, so this is site six. <clears throat> um, this place is cool. Too bad you have to, have to hike a trail to get here. Awesome light. I actually might go grab the drone and put it up because I'm just I'm sure someone's gonna come snag this spot and so I think I'm gonna go get the drone come back over here put it up and get a decent aerial of the aerial come back over here get a decent aerial of the area there we go got a little tongue twister there so here's the path that you gotta take to get up to this spot. It's a cool path, it's a cool spot to tuck away. Our spot has a pretty good canopy. Are you some aerial footage coming soon? All right, so my drone weather app says it's not good to fly. It says we're getting gusts. Uh, gusts of 28 at 400 AGL. So I think what we're gonna do, 
So I was looking here. This is on X. Move this second. So. so right across the way here, you see there's a trail right here. That's clear over here. But right across from us, right? You can see it. Well, maybe you can. Okay, so there's this trail here. Let me see if I can cover this. There's this trail here that's marked. Then, right across the way, you see there's these trees cut out and there's a clearing right here. So, when you go to This is, so there is the one trail that we've seen. Here is what I'm talking about. And if you look, they put up stones quite a while ago to stop people from driving up there. So I don't know if it's an old campsite or what, but I think it's a cool place to go explore. Let's go check it out. All right. Just past the church here. Before. There's those three rocks that were blocking the path. The truck is right. Great Ranger Rick and Morty are right there. Let me check out what this is. I mean, there's nothing. But it could be a full clearing. Come check out Scars Denied or something. Check out on that. This would definitely be a cool little spot to bring the drone. Check out some stars tonight. Looks like it used to be a campsite. Stop using it for whatever reason. Although, yeah, it kind of looks like a fire ring. Maybe not. I don't find a way back. <laughs> I think Coco and I are going to go check that other trail that wasn't uh, went to event for. I showed on Onyx there was another trail, an established trail. It's actually a, it's a two track, but it's a gated two track, so no motorized vehicles. But anyway, we went up, it wasn't far, it was only about a mile and a half, but I think we went up 200 feet in elevation. <laughs> It was a it was a butt kicker. Coco was even tucking. She came up here and laid down. Here is the clearing. That you come up to. It's beautiful up here. I guess this would probably be the place to come hike to to come see some stars. So I might have to do that one of these nights. 
for all of these nights. <laughs> and it actually does, the trail does continue on down that direction there. I don't think we're going to head down that way. I'm a little tuckered and got to make it back. <laughs> so I know cameras don't pick up pitch and angle all too well. But uh, way down there. <laughs> Oops. That's, that's where we're headed. <laughs> This, this is what it's all about. Relaxing on your hammock, listening to a podcast, and the forest around you, and your dog. I would call her up here, but I don't, I don't know how sure I am about my knots. <laughs> I did the best I could, and they're holding me. I'm gonna relax here for a little bit, listen to things you should know, and then uh, make myself some supper some kind haven't haven't quite figured out what I'm making yet but, uh, I'm sure it'll be delicious Got done with dinner, ate two big old burgers. Well, Coco got probably half of one. Now I'm just gonna let the sun come down a little more and uh, make some mores. Got the fire, she's ready to go. Man, what a day. I, I don't think I could ever get bored of this. I mean, maybe after two months I might be ready, but, uh, man, I'm hoping it looks like some of the clouds are kind of burning off. Um, so if that is the case, if it's a starry night, I might do a little night hike up uh, up that trail, up into that clearing. I guess we could go just right across the way here. We'll We'll see. All right, so it's about 8.30. I did, uh, got a little fire going. Got some s'mores on the table over there getting ready. Sun's going down, it's looking dynamite. Probably gonna spend a little bit listening to a few more podcasts, roast a couple marshies, head off to bed. Going to do some hiking tomorrow. I'm gonna Take that trail a little further tomorrow. I might try and stay up tonight. See if I can't see some stars. Alright. It's been an awesome day. Did a little hiking. Got camp set up. Got out here. Found a spot. But I think it's time for me to hit the hay. I'm a little tuckered. It's uh, about 9 o'clock, but that's the end of day one. Good night.